Jim, several people have sent in questions over the last couple of days asking your thoughts about the news that MJF has been cast in the Von Erich biopic The Iron Claw, as well as PW Insider having exclusive reporting that MJF will be playing Lance Von Erich in the film. Oh, the- <laughs> That's what I read the headline. Like, however it was worded, MJF cast in Von Erich biopic. I said, Gino, he's f-ing Gino. It's perfect. And then I read down further, I see the other thing, or what it's Lance Von Erich. I'm mean, by God, this is going to be the first time in history Lance Von Erich was more interesting than the rest of the boys. Because I don't care who they've cast, wherever they've cast them, nobody's going to be more interesting in this movie than MJF, but Lance Von Erich. It's going to be great. All of a sudden, in the middle of the movie, after they establish everything with the family and the different characters, and they've yeah. got some really good actors in this thing. All of a sudden, then they're going to introduce the fake Von Eric, and it's going to be MJF. How how's he not going to be great in that? Um, but can you see that now? When I when I just said that MJF Gino Von Eric or G- Gino Von Gino Von Eric MJF I Gino can't see Hernandez. No. You yeah, you've thrown me off. We got a lot of distractions today. There's people on the other side of the wall again. <laughs> Actually, I think they're the fucking internet service providers that oh, are still it. stuck in my wall. There are not ISPs in your because wall. Because I looked outside and there was nobody on the roof, but I hear people talking inside the wall. I don't know. Where. Anyway, yeah. Gino Hernandez anyway. <laughs> for MJF That's where I was going with that. That was my first thought, because I couldn't imagine, I mean, maybe Iceman Parsons if they want to let him show his acting skills. No, but... Iceman Parsons would be a horrible Gino Hernandez. Who's going to be in the film? I mean, obviously the Von Erichs, Lance Von Erichs, so they're going to cover that part of the story, which is good to have in that film. Do you think they'll be free birds? I know it sounds silly, but it is a biopic and they play, you know, they take liberties with the truth usually. Yeah, but well, but they ha- there has to be free birds because the boys, you know, premier feud and what put world class on the map in the 80s was the free birds Von Erich. So there has to be free bird. Is that will there be a Gary Hart? And where are you going to find him, brother? Who would play Terry Gordy? That's what I want to see. <laughs> Because it could be a great role if you get the right person. Well, but we say this all the time, and actually, Young Rock's back on the air, and I'm going to watch the first episode. We're going to talk about it on The Experience this week. Oh, and, no. and keep up with that, because they're in Memphis now this year, apparently. Destroying uh, history now in another decade. Young Rock returns Destroying history another... in all other decades. But that's the thing we say every time. when we, Well, look at this schlub they cast as so-and-so. No human beings look like any of these guys, which is why they were all stars. And every once in a while, you get somebody that can... That Luke Hawks did a great job on Steve Austin's mannerisms and his method of speaking. And you've got people that can simulate the mannerisms or the little personal picadillos of the voice or whatever, but nobody... Hardly anybody actually looks like these people looked, and that's why they got over. It was they were unusual. You had to pay to see individuals that look like this. And I still say, fucking downtown Bruno has got to be bribing the producers because goddamn, he's never looked so clean and so jacked up and in such good shape. Serious question Has The Rock ever been involved in a project that was good? Oh, come on. He is. Every project he has is some dumb movie. He's or it's a horrible TV star show. In the world. Because he's in a bunch of dumb movies. There are people all around the world who want to see a bunch of big, dumb idiots on steroids drive around fast in cars. <laughs> there are other people who want movies with plots, good stories. I don't know. Well, now you just ask for too much. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 see, that's a rock. The rock is so natural at being himself. We've talked about on Young Rock, any scene that he does, you like him, you don't like the Randall Park or the other dipshit or whatever, but but he's being himself, or and his movie characters are the Scorpion King side of himself, or the fucking Secret Agent side of himself, or the whatever. It's always, it's just, he's got so much charisma, he can do any fucking thing. But if, if, if who would play him in a fucking movie who out there looks like the rock if you had to play the rock in a fucking movie you'd have to get some bodybuilder loaded to the gills on growth hormone that's the only and, person that would fit and then they wouldn't have any goddamn talent 
Right. Or they wouldn't have any personality. I'll give him that. He's got charisma and he's got talent for those films. It's just all of his films are terrible and his TV show's terrible and every project he's involved with is terrible. But otherwise than that, he's a hell of a guy. But he's a great sports entertainer. Oh, come on. Not as good as Road Dog. Not as good as Road Dog, but, you know, we could all try, I guess. <laughs>